Uh, we've been working on energy reduction for uh, several years, and uh, one piece of energy reduction for us is really all aspects, uh, variable frequency drives, um, looking at options for compressed air, and obviously uh, lighting is a big key too of, of getting uh, our electrical usage down and actually improving our lighting and uh, improving light levels at the same time. We were speaking about the, the advantage that the TVSS, the transient voltage suppression system, has allowed us to be able to bring this technology back into your mill and make it successful in here. Uh, yes. A lot of times in heavy fabrication and a, and, and a heavy production environment, you run into scenarios where just the inherent use of the machinery used to make their product actually adds uh, harmonic fluctuations in power, which is called a transient. What that is, is that's just a, uh, that's a, a spike in the power, if you will, that and electricity always follows the path of least resistance. So that spike is going to go somewhere before it settles out. Where it lands, the path of least resistance, usually that's something digital. In our world, with the technology we utilize uh, and engineer for our clientele, it is digital, which means it's the path of least resistance a lot of times for improper uh, power uh, disruptions called transients. The use of a transient voltage suppression system what actually then, that, that unit actually gets installed on a lighting systems panel, the power distribution that feeds the actual lighting system, and what that basically does is it cleans it. It takes that hit, it takes the punishment of the, uh, of the, of the uh, infrequency or the, the bad harmonics as it were. Yes. Yeah, the bad harmonics in the power line, and it, it cleans it so that the lighting system never feels that. They do not become that path of least resistance anymore, which inherently protects the investment of their new energy efficient system and also ultimately reduces the overall second cost of ownership, which is both in maintenance and in product cost in, in you know, losing the technology, uh, lamps, ballasts, what have you. You know, it's getting to be more and more important to us, to our customers, uh, to people around us that uh, they hear a lot of bad things about uh, industry and, and uh, energy use and uh, um, us going out and look, working on both the uh, sustainable side and the forestry and also reducing our, our carbon footprint uh, is becoming more and more important in the community. We've reached out and talked to our community leaders. Um, uh, we talked to our state representatives, uh, really just trying to get support and uh, let people know we're, we're doing good things here and trying to keep, uh, keep make good paper, keep good jobs, and uh, keep this place running for another 100 years. Uh, the TVSS was something that we didn't have uh, much knowledge about until the Wasmer company came in, presented us information on that, uh, showed us a sample of it, and then we uh, seen what results actually occur because of using one of those. Brad brings a lot of knowledge about different kinds of lighting technology that we do not have inside the mill here comes in, comes up with different solutions to different projects that uh, make sense to us. Things change so fast, especially with lighting. Uh, uh, rules come out, things are being obsoleted. Um, there's new ideas, new products. Uh, it's hard for us to keep up with that. So uh, we bring folks in here to help us. Uh, they'll have good ideas. Uh, know that, um, like for example here, we end up putting up less lamps than before, uh, which we might not have done, where we'd be more replace in kind. Uh, we know that would work. Uh, working with a company like Wasmer, we end up with less lights, better project. Have we not partnered with the Wasmer company, we would probably have light fixtures that have failures because of uh, issues maybe caused by harmonics. With the use of the TVSS, we have uh, light fixtures that are working for us. We don't have bulb failures, we don't have ballast failures. Although we're early into the project, but uh, the results have looked great.